Hi guys, um, I'm sorry for my clothing, I just woke up, um, but um, I want to make a, a video, uh, an important one. Um, it's going very bad with NXT, the price uh, is still uh, at its low, uh, currently of 7 million thousand seven hundred Satoshi, the low was 1300 and uh, 5 million, but in the meantime it went up, give some hope again to 3000 Satoshi and uh, 12 million market cap, but now it has been corrected again strongly, while in the meantime all the other cryptos for the most part uh, in the top 10, 20 have flourished, uh, so NXT has been lost another five or three rankings and now a 13th, sometimes 14th place, uh, seeing all kind of newcomers uh, passing NXT by and especially Ethereum totally stealing the show uh, I have gone tenfold the past two months uh, so NXT um, I see I'm getting messages people uh, abandoning it uh, selling out all their coins and um, also I see that uh, uh, on the forum, um, yeah, just over the past two years it has been, while the price has gone down, we saw a lot of people leaving, uh, and also developers uh, and uh, people that build on top of NXT, um, uh, so yeah, um, I also have a, a hard time, it is very difficult, uh, at first losing a lot in NXT, eh? but then now, on, now that Finally, NXT seemed to have stopped. Uh, allez, it's still, it has not go, uh, gone to new lows, but others uh, suddenly being a major success like Ethereum. It's like a double kick uh, in the balls. Uh, at first you lose a lot of money and then you totally miss out on an opportunity. At least that's for me the case and it hurts. And um, yeah, I've been wrong, uh, clearly. Um, not only in investing in NXT uh, just too much, but also not investing in Ethereum. Um, I've always um, rejected uh, Ethereum because I thought it was too expensive and there was uh, it was just stories, no functional software, but um, I have also been blind uh, to certain facts such as that, uh, okay, the IPO may have been too expensive uh, since they were able to receive 30 million uh, NXT, uh, sorry, uh, Bitcoins, uh, 30,000, uh, 30 million US dollars. But um, you have to do it eh? <laughs> to, to do such a successful IPO. Why is that? Because from the start, Vitalik Buterin was able to inspire a lot of people with money. Uh, and um, and that has continued to be the case. After that, he inspired a lot of people, uh, a lot of developers. So a lot of people are building on top of it, and also even companies, big company names like Microsoft and Samsung, uh, building uh, on, uh, doing something with Ethereum. So it's just a major success, and uh, I'm finally like uh, have to admit that. <laughs> Seeing that uh, it has tenfold in two months, while the other altcoins didn't do that at all. Eh? Um, on the other hand, I could have invested in Mastercoin um, or Counterparty when they were valued double, triple of NXT, and then uh, I would have lost a lot more than in NXT because uh, Mastercoin was valued uh, two years ago at uh, 100 million, today it's 1 million. Hmm? Uh, it, it's now called Omni. Um, even though they have actually been quite successful in their decentralized asset exchange, as you can see on CoinMarketCap, the top three, four assets traded are uh, on Omni and not on NXT and not on Counterparty. After that, you have Counterparty, who was also quite successful in the decentralized asset exchange, built on top of uh, Bitcoin, uh, also uh, having the top five assets uh, in market cap. Uh, and um, they are valued at 2 million instead of 7, like NXT. So they also were once uh, valued double um, or tripled what NXT was. So they lost a lot more. So, yeah. Um, um, 
I think that selling NXT right now is really, 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 really uh, the uh, is is a capital mistake. Why? Because the odds are not in your favor. Um, in crypto, when something has tenfolded, the odds are very high that it will correct strongly, and uh, and and that's the case for Ethereum today. Uh, uh, I'm, I'm seeing why I was wrong, but I'm not going to invest today uh, because the odds are not in my favor. Uh, I, I, there is always a second chance uh, uh, to get in a bull market. Uh, and that was the case with Bitcoin. That will be the case with Ethereum too. Um, there is always a low chance that something after it tenfold, it tenfolds again. Hey, Ethereum could go from the current 500 million to 5 billion uh, over the next few months too, but the odds are just very low. So if you put money on that uh, bat, uh, you should put a little, little, little bit of money on that. So I should buy a little bit of Ethereum today uh, just for that scenario. But mm, the odds are much higher to correct strongly. And, uh, and so um, then, uh, of only then, it becomes uh, an interesting investment uh, uh, to do with a serious portion of your capital. Um, but for NXT today, it has been cut by 10. And in crypto, that means that's really painful, but that's how crypto goes. It's times 10 or cut by 10. Uh, those are the gains and losses and and. and uh, that's really amazing to experience when you tenfold an investment. It's you're on a total euphoria, uh, but uh, the inverse is uh, seeing your capital lose 90% or 95% of its value. That's very painful. You feel really like you made a big mistake and, and it's extremely difficult to not sell. And so I see I, that's what's happening today. Uh, a lot of investors are selling after they lost 90% in an investment that is not like it of course nxt can die like any cryptocurrency but for nxt the odds are not high because it succeeded in building a quite big community okay that has shrank a lot but still NXT, even if the current de lead developer stops will likely find another good lead developer huh? uh, and will have enough people to continue to support the project and make uh, and, 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 and try to get a bigger market. Huh? So NXT dying is possible but the odds are not high. Uh, the odds are much higher for smaller projects like clumps I invest in that but this is dependent on just one lead developer. The community is quite small. Um, it has unique utility. You really need to coin for something to gamble on just as but if just just as quits or ceases operations suddenly all the unique utility is gone with NXT the unique utility is its asset exchange and and, and, and that's fully decentralized. This does not depend on one player huh? um, uh, even because currently in NXT you have a lot of drama because there is a proposal to go to NXT 2.0, a new design by Jean-Luc splitting NXT into two coins, uh, F, Next and Next. Um, and uh, uh, people from, a lot of people from the asset exchange feel betrayed uh, and um, they, they think that uh, their assets will lose value and are losing value due to this uh, design decision. Um, and, and so they blame uh, Jean-Luc or uh, the core devs uh, to not care about the asset exchange and so people like James who have launched a lot of assets uh, are really like now uh, there was already a lot of tension before and and there was uh, there were fights before but now it seems that it's been final and, and James is, def is for good leaving NXT community and now also planning on a um, removing his assets from the asset exchange um, so so yeah, uh, but even if NXT loses assets, important assets, it continues to be a decentralized asset exchange that has uh, certain advantages over the competition, which is Omni and, um, and, uh, and Counterparty. I didn't study Omni well enough to give an opinion on that. I just noticed that 
actually they did very well on the asset exchange. I think that's an interesting uh, investment. I, I'm, I'm studying that right now because it has been beaten down to that, has rebranded itself and, um, and, and, and has results. Huh? The three biggest assets on the decentralized asset exchange are quoted on Omni. So I think that's a much better in investment today uh, if you look at the risk to reward ratio than Ethereum. Even though Ethereum can be the next Bitcoin, eh? uh, that is right now priced in already. Mm. Um, but investing in Omni can be a good uh, hatch against... There is a risk right now that NXT, its decentralized asset exchange, uh, gets um, uh, abandoned, uh, I gets beaten too much, and that it 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 um, it it fails in the long term. And so something like only your counterparty are good bets, like to to protect yourself against that, to buy that. Mm. Uh, because if NXT decentralized asset exchange dies, there will be others picking up the slack uh, or picking up those uh, uh, clients. And that will probably be the current leaders, and that's Omni and Counterparty. Um, so, 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 so that's what I did, uh, or uh, uh, that's what I'm thinking of doing, investing in that a little bit also. Um, but selling NXT today, no, uh, no, uh, the odds are really, really, really uh, good for NXT to go up. Uh, after it has been beaten down so much, uh, and um, and uh, uh, of course there are failures in NXT, eh? losing uh, services that are built on top, like the Secure Asset Exchange has stopped operations, which is a real pity. It was a great user-friendly way to um, uh, to start using the NXT Asset Exchange via just the website without having to download anything. So that was a great uh, service, has stopped operations. Some others like uh, Blockchain Explorers, Next Reporting has stopped also uh, Next Blocks, which was also a Blockchain Explorer, but also a, a wallet, uh, has stopped a half year ago. Um, uh, so uh, great services on, built on top of NXT uh, are stop, uh, have stopped. And so that sucks. Um, uh, so there is a risk that NXT uh, in the long term fails, uh, but um, uh, you know you have to always. Luckily, NXT is not the first crypto. We had a predecessor, which is Bitcoin, and we can see how things have gone for Bitcoin uh, in the past. And corrections of ninety percent have happened with Bitcoin too. For a, uh, seeing a lot of services. Uh, stopping due to all kind of reasons uh, and wallets, uh, Bitcoin wallets, Bitcoin services, Bitcoin websites. Yes, all that has happened too. That doesn't mean that Bitcoin died. It came back with a vengeance, in fact. And so um, I think this certainly is possible with NXT also. Um, the nice thing I think to see currently is that um, there I the big team has been correct like I didn't profit from cryptocurrency 2.0 I only made losses but the big team is still there and very actual it's just that ethereum took all the profits I all, all the speculation uh, value is currently going to ethereum but if you make a sum of all the uh, crypto 2.0 projects so that means cryptocurrencies that are not really cryptocurrencies, they are crypto platforms, they also have their own coin, but they are platforms and they are really created for decentralized applications to build on top of it and uh, decentralized uh, yeah, utility. Um, that is still the big team. Um, uh, and, um, and, um, and, and NXT is in the middle of that. Um, uh, so, uh, Probably uh, these platforms, some like Ethereum, will become strong in the in a certain aspect, while others become stronger in another aspect. So Ethereum currently is leading the smart contracts uh, market, uh, but that's just one application, one decentralized application. There are others too, like the asset exchange, 
might NXT might continue to be a leader there. Uh, um, or start your own cryptocurrency. Um, NXT is really focusing on that. Uh, with this NXT uh, 2.0 proposal, it will allow NXT to be I to start your own cryptocurrency in a much better way so that you, your end users don't see NXT or don't need NXT for transactions anymore, like today still the case with the monetary system. Um, so you can fully hide NXT then and um, uh, you can easily fork uh, NXT also in, put in your own cryptocurrency certain features that you like about NXT uh, like aliases for example eh, which is very important for a user-friendly cryptocurrency um, while ditching other features that you don't need like the asset exchange for example and then um, but your fork will be still updated automatically you don't need to continuously uh, update your software to keep up to date with NXT? No, because of the design of NXT 2.0 that will be already the case. Eh? Um, and that's really a great advantage. Um, uh, and NXT, FNXT then can easily validate this transaction, so you have the advantage to have a decentralized cryptocurrency. You don't need to bother about security. Uh, about um, uh, having an all decentralized network or validators. No, NXT all does that for you. So great software. Um, and now is the time to instead uh, of uh, withdrawing uh, to uh, put your uh, to go into second gear or third gear or fourth gear and, and uh, invest more time, energy and money into it. That's my opinion. I'm not doing the money anymore, but uh, yeah, I invest so much, so I'm still at currently at my biggest investment is still 35% NXT of my portfolio, 30% Bitcoin, and 10% clumps, 12% clumps. So NXT is still my biggest uh, uh, investment. I'm pretty sure mm, there are only a few people uh, like that. Uh, um, so I mean, for me, I cannot invest more financially. Maybe if we see new lows, uh, maybe I'll do that then. Eh? Uh, but um, right now, not. But I am starting to invest a lot more of my time and energy and also money. The Bitcoins, so I do invest some Bitcoins in NXT for promotion. But yeah, that's what I'm doing. And I think that's going to be worthwhile. Um, and... Uh, yeah, it's great to see that crypto landscape is uh, alive, uh, very vibrant, and uh, I, I'm very happy for uh, Vitalik Buterin, uh, his success with Ethereum. He's really like success. He is successful in in finally uh, um, pulling uh, Bitcoiners uh, into the altcoin scene, um, and um, and that's. Um, yeah, uh, a very good thing. Uh, you have to do it. You need to be not too much in your face like I have been. He is, uh, he is a good combination of, of um, yeah, being not too much in your face, but at the same time offering a strong alternative. So, so I did that very well. But um, yeah, in the, the grand chief of things, Bitcoin has a true problem in scaling. That will remain the case. Uh, people didn't think that was the case a year ago or two years ago, uh, but um, yes, it is the case that uh, there is a big problem with Bitcoin. Um, I've been talking about this a long time, that the power is way too centralized with the miners and that a, a risk of a 51% attack is high. Well, what's happening today is a successful 51% attack by the miners to hold uh, back a growth of Bitcoin because otherwise they fear they will lose their strong position. We talk about the Chinese miners uh, who, who are really like working against uh, raising uh, the block size limit and scaling Bitcoin up so that it's, the transaction cost remains low. That's, that's necessary. If you want to keep the transaction costs low, you need to do that. And um, they refuse to do that. They use their mining power for that. And well, they... Uh, Whatever they want will be done. So, 
this is not possible in a proof of stake coin like NXT um, because the power is with the coin holders and the coin holders will of course choose for growth and not for a status quo because the value of the coins depends on how many people adopt the coin and so um, growth is uh, crucial um, but in Bitcoin it's not the Bitcoiners that uh, have the power uh, it's the miners and they don't have Bitcoins they have mining equipment huh? and uh, they have very different interests to protect and they decide it's not the bitcoins that decide so that's really a poor design um, and uh, it's showing today uh, what can happen and um, that means that there is a lot of potential for the altcoins because bitcoin can't even like that has so much marketing power so many people know bitcoin but it can't receive all these customers it just can't offer them and, and that shows today in the transaction costs it becomes too expensive to do transactions so small transactions it makes no economical sense uh, pro probably I, I didn't do the exact calculations but probably we are already there um, so Bitcoin will become um, a, a high value network like you can use it to do transactions but since transaction costs a lot you will do it only for high value transactions so that's probably where we're going with Bitcoin and so um, yeah you will have a world of a lot of alternatives to a lot of other blockchains and I like that Vitalik Buterin has been promoting this for a long time also and, uh, and, uh, and uh, that he is uh, 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 winning and that's really nice to see uh, so let's hope uh, uh, some of that value also goes to NXT in the future uh, we don't need a lot of that to have major gains from these current valuations of 7 million. Um, it hasn't happened yet, not a single uh, Bitcoin whale has ex uh, invested in NXT. That's a big disappointment for me. Uh, something I didn't, I, I would, I, I would, two years ago I estimated that, that I was pretty sure that would have happened, uh, that some Bitcoin will start investing in NXT, but it didn't happen at all. So that's a real pity, but that means that, you know, uh, uh, that is still there, uh, that potential. Uh, and uh, that will really uh, have a big impact on the price. So for me, the odds are still very good for NXT, um, even though it got beaten down strongly. Um, and the valuations are so ridiculous, like currently we're valued at, at uh, 13 or 14 spot. The same valuation as something like Namecoin or NAM. Uh, yeah, I mean, the, all these coins have qualities, but NXT have, has a lot more qualities. So, so I, I think we have something exceptional going on uh, in NXT. Uh, yeah um so yeah that's my opinion um i wish you all uh, good luck whatever you decide to do